Hi, um, for those of you who don't know me, my name's Mary and I'm an English literature student and I'm crazy about poetry, especially other people's poems. Um, I've never really had the confidence to write my own poetry since I was like six, cocky six year old. Every, every six year old likes writing poetry, right? Uh, but since then I've kind of definitely lost confidence, um, even though I love reading other people's. Um, and someone has actually inspired me to start writing again. Um, and that's a poet I've been studying recently called Gerard Manley Hopkins. Um, he was writing at the end of the 1800s, but his poems were like really ahead of their time. And they had so much movement in them. And he started using things like um, sprung rhythm, which is a, a different rhythmic technique to what most poets use. It makes the poem sound more impassioned and lively and allows him to put more fast paced, interesting imagery into them. And the poem that's inspired my poem today um, is called That Nature is a Heracletian Fire and of the Comfort of the Resurrection, which sounds like quite a mouthful, especially when you speak as fast as me. But <laughs> basically, um, Heraclitus was uh, a philosopher in ancient Greece who believed that everything is always changing um, and that you can't step in the same river twice. He actually said that. That's quote Heraclitus, not Pocahontas from the Disney film. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I wanted to kind of apply that concept of of um, things changing and not holding on to something too long to um, memories that you maybe don't want to hold on to. Um, so anyway, this is my poem and it's called Time Is. Um, yeah, so here we go. Time is a tricky juggler juggling hot flames, a Heracletian firing that is never the same. Ever-changing, white-hot, bright-burn play, magnesium memories pressed warm into your brain. Let them cool, crystallising, let the shine fade. Too hot, too bright to bear today. If you fear he may drop one and disrupt the fire's turning, resist the mind's insistence, the sizzling yearning. Man cannot grasp the fire, there's a lesson he is learning. Not to clasp hot nothingness, withstand the fire's burning. Let it call to apathy, to greying, grim clay, for the light shines too bright to bear today. Closed eyes are not an invisible blockade. Inside an insurgence, charge of the light brigade, upon a pink lid pull screen, endless films of you displayed, projected with no eject button, are constantly replayed. Let them call to apathy, to greying, grim clay, the light is far too hot, too bright for me to bear today. I really wish the memories would simply go away. I wish the flaming acrobat would stop his cruel play. I wish for cold, numb apathy, for hard and cooling clay, for the burning light shines far too bright for me to bear today.